Contact. Two new ones. Um, the old ones that are on there are just rusted through, so they're leaking air, so we're not getting 100% brake efficiency, effectiveness, general, whatchamacallit. Um, so, uh, that being said, we'll jump right into it. I'll give you a close up on the truck, what I'm going to do, and hopefully it goes well. So, hopefully, this will be pretty simple. Um, there's two bolts that hold the chamber on right here. The airline that goes to it, and then we'll have to disconnect this um, clevis shackle. The pin spins or moves, so hopefully that'll drive out. Sometimes those get seized in there. Um, and away we go. Just realized I forgot to back back off the slack adjuster, so I will do that now. If I was a smarter man, I would have sprayed this on last night knowing I was going to do this this morning. If. like a rusty snow globe not for children
Now I'll readjust the slack adjuster. So they say all the way tight and then back a half a turn. They, that is the president and his wife. So that's better because there was a bunch of slop in that before with the old one so between it being rusty and leaking I know you can change just that rubber pancake in there but these things are pretty cheap and by the time I pulled this apart and broke bolts on the old one and did all that stuff is probably time and money well spent so let's see if she works So that was uh, replacing the passenger side brake chamber on the steer axle on 1983 Mac R686ST, 300 horse, uh, E6 motor, blah blah blah, Camelback if you care. Um, there's other videos about that if you are so interested. Um, I want to say thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for the likes on the videos and the comments. That kind of helps spread them out so that YouTube shows them to more people. And then hopefully more people who are looking for information and entertainment like this will find it. And that's kind of the end game. Um, I don't get paid for this. I just kind of do it for fun. And um, I really appreciate a lot of the things that you guys say. And you've taught me some stuff. So until next time, stay American and work hard.